All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So a little bit of interesting uh, news in the fitness world today. Mark Bell, um, who owns Super Training Gym and, of course, invented the Slingshot, recently announced that he's going to be doing a bodybuilding show. Now, Mark Bell obviously is most known for his powerlifting, particularly his bench press. Um, but the interesting thing about him announcing that he's doing a, a bodybuilding show is not so much the fact that he's a powerlifter transitioning to bodybuilding. It's the fact that the coach that he has coaching him for this bodybuilding show is Hani Rambod. Now, Hani Rambod is the same guy that coaches four-time Mr. Olympia Jeremy Boyendia, and more notably, seven-time Mr. Olympia Phil Heath. So it appears that Mark Bell is not messing around here, and he wants to do this right, and he doesn't want to look you know, foolish um, like some people do when they cross over from powerlifting to bodybuilding or from you know, classic to bodybuilding or switching divisions or whatever, Mark Bell seems to be actually taking a very serious approach to this, um, which has a lot of people excited to see, you know, what the final result will be. So obviously, a lot of people are asking me my opinion on this. Um, and quite frankly, I'm very excited to see what happens. I think it's going to be an interesting thing for the sport. Um, and I've said this many times, I think any time or an athlete crosses over, whether it be from a different sport, like powerlifting into bodybuilding, or within bodybuilding, crossing over from men's physique or crossing over from classic physique or whatever, I always think that's interesting and I always think that's good for the sport because it potentially brings people from the other side to the bodybuilding side to watch what happens. So I think as a result of Mark Bell doing this, a lot of people who are simply powerlifters or fans of powerlifting uh, might gain some interest in watching bodybuilding depending on what show he does. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be anything major. It's probably going to be a smaller local show. Um, so what do I think about this overall? I think Mark Bell has a decent physique for a powerlifter. For a bodybuilder, obviously looking at these photos, he doesn't have the best structure for a bodybuilder. Now, again, you know, I'm a fan of Mark. I like him. I like his products. I like his uh, podcast, the Powercast, I think it's called. Um, but overall, you know, this isn't going to be a guy that's going to be pursuing a career in bodybuilding. I don't think he's got the greatest structure. Um, I don't think he's going to do you know tremendously well. He might win whatever local show he does. Do I think this is going to be Mark Bell's journey to you know become an IFBB pro? Certainly not. Do I think Mark Bell is going to be competing on you know some national level bodybuilding stage? Probably not. So what I'm saying is I think this is more or less you know a publicity stunt. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's just really kind of a one-time thing to get views. It's not going to be the beginning of Mark Bell's bodybuilding career. I think it's just Mark Bell you know trying out bodybuilding, showcasing it. Um, and trying to do, you know, again, a publicity stunt, try to get some views off of it. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think that takes away a little bit from the excitement factor. I'm sure a lot of people are watching this, you know, thinking Mark Bell is going to go on to pursue bodybuilding from this point forward. And I don't think that's going to be the case at all. I think after this show is done, he's going to look good. Again, he's probably going to win whatever category and whatever local show. And he's probably going to, you know, get some views off it. It's probably going to be very interesting for all of us to watch and comment on. But I don't think it's going to be the same as like a Larry Wheels pursuing bodybuilding. Larry Wheels, a guy with freak genetics. I mean, from a strength standpoint and from a muscular standpoint, Larry Wheels is just a freak. I mean, he's got the genetics for both. Uh, Mark Bell, I don't think the expectations are set as high. So I think when people watch him compete, um, it's going to be a better result. I think people are going to be happier with whatever package he brings just to see him on a bodybuilding stage. Um, will be enough for the people that are watching. And it, especially if you look at where Mark Bell started, I mean, he, self-admittedly, he was pretty fat when he started. So looking at the starting point, I think it's going to be even more impressive to see him ripped on a bodybuilding stage. So I'm excited to see it. I'm not really expecting, you know, a pro card or national level competition or anything else like that. But I do think it'll be an interesting, you know, one-off type of thing. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Mark Bell deciding to pursue bodybuilding. How do you think he will do? Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick's on the power, signing out.